Today, we're going to be talking about two altcoins, two news articles, and one in particular that I think has really determined the price action of a specific altcoin, one that I absolutely love, and one that I used to talk about almost every single other video. Super excited to talk to you about this. Let's get started. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Altcoin Pigs. First off, thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please join our family and smash that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to join the Discord and the Facebook group. Both are super active and I would love to just get everyone there. So first, let's check out Coin Market Cap. So as you can see, the market is back to the $300 billion range. We can't seem to catch a break. There's not very much FUD in particular that should be affecting the market this much, at least that I have found. Granted, do your own research, I could have easily missed something. Bitcoin is on its way below 8,200 or 8,000 in general. Ethereum is at 490, it was just at around 475 earlier. Everything is just going back to the prices we had before that huge pump. And I know there's a lot of disappointed people here, but just stay patient, dollar cost average, and just be smart here. Don't go and find those, those FOMO coins, Ripple, Tron. Go into coins you love. F Ethos is a great one. Check it out. They have some great stuff happening soon. I personally do not have Ethos yet, but I do want to... Kind of watch it and see if it hits a point that I want to jump in. Let me see where's that right now. So 307, that's not a bad jump point right now. It went all the way down to 214. See, that is a great time to jump in. I should have done that, but I'm just watching so many coins and I only have limited funds. I'm sure that's the story of our lives, right? <laughs> so a big one. So light coin, see if it's dropped more. It's about the 148. It's gone up a little bit since about two hours ago. I'm actually surprised that this one has not dumped further. We'll talk a little bit about this later. We have some news. As you can see, it's taken a pretty big hit. Not as, not as much as I thought, though. And again, we'll talk about that a little bit later. So the first one I want to talk about is, of course, WanChain. You guys all know I love this coin. It is my number one coin. And we have been waiting for this since what? I think October, maybe even earlier, my very first video I ever recorded was on Syndicator and of course, WanChain. So this one finally reached under the $4 mark. A lot of people weren't sure if it was gonna do that. And there's actually a lot of people that think this will hit under $2 or even $1, especially in the SCM group. I, I don't see that happening. If it does, I don't think it will last very long because I think there's a lot of people, and I mean a lot that are ready to jump in here and just waiting for that dump on WanChain because everybody knows the potential of this coin. I personally believe this is a top 10 coin and I know there are several other people that do a lot of research, YouTubers, people that make articles that are great that think the exact same thing. So I haven't bought any, of course I have some from my ICO, but I'm looking for about sub $3. If it hits that, I have a huge chunk of Bitcoin ready to jump into this coin. Again, do your research. Check out my video on this coin. I believe Stefanos will be doing a video on WanChain, and I will be looking to do another one, maybe do a comparison video like Superman did with Fusion, because there's a lot of people out there trying to say, jump into Fusion, it's cheaper market cap. It's just as good project. I want to actually do the extensive research, compare them, and hopefully show them that they're completely wrong on that subject. Another coin I wanted to bring up, and this one's super under the radar and one I've actually made a video about a while ago is Dropple. So this one is under a penny. It's one of those coins that are super cheap because the supply is super large. I think it's 15 billion. But if you actually go on their decks or their dashboard, you will see this one has some great potential. I'm already up 3%, oh no, sorry, 4% profit so far in about two weeks. That's actually pretty awesome if you check out the bear market that we are in. I know a lot of you are probably in some huge negatives, myself included. Dropple, not so much. And this isn't just the, the rise in price from the ICO, which I believe was 
five or sorry, half a cent. So we're up on the ICO and it's actually still down. I know a lot of people that are waiting for this to drop more so they can get a huge amount. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing a video on Dropple so you can get an idea of the dashboard, the decks, and just the project in general. I think this one is a sleeper. Check it out, everyone. Granted, the market cap isn't that low because of the huge supply. So the crypto news I wanna talk about first is Coinbase. They're gonna be adding support for the ERC20 tokens. Basically, they announced that they intend to support ERC-20 technical standard in the coming months, paving the way for supporting the ERC-20 asset across Coinbase in the future. So what does this mean? In my opinion, two things. First, they're going to be adding more coins, which is awesome. Definitely needed. Coinbase is the number one place, especially for new people to go and buy coins, meaning we can have more awareness to altcoins because most of these people only know, I guess you could say like the big four, I believe they have four on there, maybe five, I don't remember. And number two, we can narrow it down to what the new coins will be, basically ERC-20 tokens. That takes away Ripple, NEO, and a lot of big coins that people thought. Now, I'm not saying those aren't going to be added, but it seems that these are what they are concentrating on. So with not many of the top coins being ERC-20, we have to dig a little deeper to see what has the most potential. And my friend Derek, which he's in the Facebook group, pointed out that he believes one of our favorite coins, ZRX or ZRX, and it looks like the market actually felt the same way. <laughs> so if you go check out ZRX, granted it has dipped a lot from then. So the news came out and you can see it really reacted. <laughs> it was down to 50 cents. I do not have any ZRX and I can't stand that I don't. I sold it a while ago and then just shot up and I did not want to jump back in. It was at 50 cents. Again, this is where I mean I have so many coins I'm looking at and I am not dollar cost averaging on them and I'm just messing up. Either way, a little under 50 jumped all the way up to 80 cents right after that news. That is a huge jump, especially in this market. Of course, it dropped right back down to about <laughs> 60 cents huge sell off 63 and now it's about 65 cents either way zrx could i think has a fairly good chance of getting on coinbase at first i was a little bit skeptical you can ask derek on here i was kind of debating him but the more i checked it out the more it makes sense there's actually a tweet the hold on that the coinbase ceo posted and he said right here the Zero X project team has brought more value to the Ethereum ecosystem in the last five months than any other team that conducted an ICO this past summer. I believe he took it off, but someone caught it. Either way, we know Zero X and Coinbase have a great relationship. I don't think they really have any partnerships yet, but that doesn't mean they won't in the future. So what do you think? Have you, you know we've talked about Zero X for a long time and I know some of you are in it. I'm not sure if you're still in it because it did have a huge jump with the market. I mean, what coin didn't? You could have sold out. If you did, awesome. It means you made a huge profit. But are you looking to jump back in? I totally am. Wan Chain, Dragon Chain, and Zero X, my top three coins. And I'm looking to dollar cost average and just accumulate. So the next piece of news has to do with Litecoin. And I'm sure many of you have heard this, but Basically, Litecoin falls 10% after payments processor LightPay closes. Basically, Charlie Lee says that we got too excited. <laughs> Basically, so the payment processing LightPay has ceased operation. Lee tweeted saying, I believe it's down here. Like everyone else, we got too excited about something that got, was too good to be true and we optimistically overlooked many of the warning signs. I am sorry for having hyped up this company and vowed to do better due diligence in the future. So this is pretty suspect. I know a lot of people are like, what the heck? Because we know he just sold and quote donated his holdings of Litecoin. Again, this is pretty sketchy and a huge issue in, in crypto in general. And this is why a lot of people don't trust crypto because a CEO a founder, someone in power like Charlie Lee can basically manipulate the space with just a little bit of news and things like this shouldn't happen. There's no way that he should be able to make some announcement that obviously wasn't able to follow through with and basically pump his own money. 
huge issue. What do you think? I also want to add that Lee said Litecoin was doing perfectly fine before the promise of LightPay and will continue to do so. So what do you think of this announcement and his reaction to the announcement? And as you can see, I am personally disappointed in Litecoin as a company right now. I'm not trying to FUD them. I'm just saying this isn't what I like to see in crypto. Anyways, that's my video for today. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. If you want to come to my Discord or my Facebook, come and join us. I love talking to all you guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.